Hello everyone, uh, peace of Christ to all. This is a short video. Uh, one of those people in YouTube asked question about what I said about Muhammad. He have uh, or his born his his birth was four years after his father death. Uh, you know, if if you have my books, you can see all the reference. I have it there in Arabic and translated. And uh, I will try to make it short because it's very uh, easy to prove. Uh, you know, and the problem is in Muslim books, not. Uh, it's not our accusation, it is the stupidity of the Muslims. So if the Muslims, their books is stupid, I mean, why Muslims are, why they are calling us liars? I mean, Muslims are weird. They write something and then they get angry from them writing in those things. Uh, let us show you some reference. <clears throat> As you see, this is a very Islamic website. All right, this is the address. This is a Muslim website, not my website. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. Okay, so the biography of Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. All right, so to make it short for you, here we go. Those two Muslim books agreeing that Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, he was the son of the grandfather of Muhammad, which means that will make him his uncle, according to this story. So here we will see that Muhammad father, who you Muslims, you claim he is his father, and his father, which means the grandfather of Muhammad, uh, they have double marriage in the same day. I think the story is very simple to understand. Both of them, the father and his son, they get married in one day. All right. All right. That's wonderful. So when they get uh, uh, married in the same day, and Muhammad in different books, it says he stayed with the, with the mother of uh, Muhammad, a uh, three. Some they say, uh, you know, uh, most of Muslims, they say it was uh, three months. Some they say it was uh, three days. And then he have to go in a trade or a business. So the maximum was a three month. And supposedly he made her pregnant during that uh, uh, time. He slept with her. Okay, no problem. But then we will find that in Islamic books, Hamza, who is the son of the same married person who married with Muhammad father in the same day he is four years older than Muhammad to make it simple let me uh, let me show you some hold on let us see uh, there is a book all right this is a book this is a book in English. I'm glad to find it because it's very hard to find those things in English. This is the book of uh, Kitab al Maghazi. All right. In this book, we will see what happened. Here is saying that Hamza was older than the Prophet by four years. Do you see it? I, I know the text is not really so good, but I think it's fine. So Hamza was four years older than the prophet. Okay, so let us calculate the numbers. We have two guys, they married in the same day, in the same night. One of them, he died after a few months. So he have a very short period of time to make the woman his wife a Bretnet, because there is no way he will make a Bretnet after he die. So if a man he died today, the woman she have maximum of nine months after that to deliver a son, not to get a pregnant after nine months. She have to be pregnant at the time he die, he die. So she have a maximum of nine months to deliver a, a child. After that, there is no way this is the son of the person. So if I marry from a, uh, from a woman and my father or my brother in the same day, and then I die a few months after, then how my son will be born four years after the son of my brother or my grandfather or father the person who i married with him 
two women in the same day are you getting it so the story is very simple and if you Muslims you want to accuse your own stupid stories and your books by you know by saying they are liars they are donkeys all of you are donkeys anyway this is not my business but the story is very easy there is no way Muhammad is born four years after Hamza when both of them their parents they married in the same day it's impossible that can be possible if you know the guy he is married to the women and they live and maybe his wife she was not able to get uh, to get the bread net right away but Muhammad father did not live with her for long so how how she delivered then Muhammad four years after her, her husband's death so the Muslims who say this is a lie this is not true I mean you Muslims are really you are really weird you have a problem and your problem is your books and you are trying to get rid of it but it doesn't work it's there and thank God that yes we are Christians but we know Arabic because all those stories was hiding and if not we speak Arabic none of you will know about it even you Muslims would not even notice it was us the Christians who showed you that this is stupid this is how it is it's a stupid and that is exactly what Islam is about and it's very obvious that Muhammad father cannot be this person the Muslim they call him Abdullah for very simple reason too additional reason how Muslims they believe that Abdullah is the father of Muhammad but yet he don't believe in Allah he will go to hell there's tons of, uh, of reasons to believe that this is a false fiction story I believe strongly the real father of Muhammad is Waraka ibn Nawfal go and read the history of Muhammad go read the book of Asira go read all the Muslim books you will find that any time you look for Muhammad you find him with Waraka even when he was a child why Waraka is so attached to Muhammad one day Muhammad he was lost and everybody he thought that he was kidnapped they will never find him again etc and then they found him with Waraka when Waraka he died what Muhammad tried to do he tried to commit suicide many times several times what kind of relationship between Muhammad and Waraka to the point when Waraka died he tried to commit suicide and why Waraka's sister she offered the father of Muhammad according to the Muslim books you find this in my books go and get my books from Amazon search for Christian Prince and you will find in Amazon my books you will find that how the sister of Waraka she offered 100 camels to the father of Muhammad to sleep with her when he was going to sleep with Amina which mean in the way to go to Amina and for sure I don't believe in the number I mean 100 camels I mean <laughs> 100 camels is a lot of money not only at that time even now so yeah I'm sure the Muslims exaggerate with the stupidity the stupid stories they always come with, with. Uh, maybe she offered him a camel or two you know I mean people at that time is not really rich so 100 camel and that will make the father of Muhammad King just from effing a woman excuse my language this is how it is so uh, uh, she offer 100 camel to sleep with Muhammad father and then he said I will go to Amina I will do Amina and I will come back to you so he went to Amina he did Amina and he came back to her back to her and she said to him well I have no need for you so what all this drama about why why Waraka's sister is doing that obviously Waraka he is dating this woman or sleeping with her and he don't want anyone to sleep with her so he sent his sister to okay I will find you a different person to sleep with you want a woman here we go the sister so as you see Muslims you Muslims agree that Muhammad uh, father and Hamza father they married in the same day then both of you agree all of you agree that Muhammad father did not live with his wife for long then you agree then again that Muhammad was born four years after Hamza you tell me how this happened and let's uh, the mother of Muhammad was sleeping around and she was not really married to this man and I believe all this story is a fiction the same as everything in Islam nobody knows exactly you see I believe everything about Islam is a lie Muhammad 
His name is not Muhammad. His real name is Zakatham. The father is not Abdullah and cannot be Abdullah for many reasons. The history, everything about Muhammad is a fiction. However, this is what Muslims have and this is what they believe in. So you deal with it. Your father was born four years. Your prophet, he was born four years after his father's death. This is why you, you can go right now and search in YouTube about the, the period of getting uh, birth net in Islam. You will find many scholars, they are talking loud and clear that according to Islam, a woman, she can be birth net up to four years. Now, why where why they come with this number? Why they come with this number? I don't think it come this, like, like this conclusion of four years uh, for nothing, but they are trying to cover the issue of uh, uh, of Muhammad was born four years after that. Otherwise, we never heard of any religion in the world believe that a person, he can, uh, or a woman, uh, she can be pregnant four years after, uh, you know, the death of the man. You know, look at this video here. Muddatul Hamli fil Islam. This is Al Qaradawi. This is the Mufti Al Azhar, Sheikh Al Azhar, the highest Sheikh in Islam in, in, in Egypt. He is saying, the, the period of getting Bretnet or to be Bretnet in Islam is four years, which means a woman, she can be Bretnet even four years after being divorced or after being widowed from that man. <laughs> you know, this is why a woman, she was from, I think, uh, uh, I think Sudan, something like that. Uh, they wanted to stone her to death for adultery. And then the lawyer, he showed them, you, you guys, what are you talking about? He, her husband, he died just like uh, 16 months ago. And based on the Sharia law, a woman, she can be pregnant for up to four years. So she did not commit adultery. So they let her go because she have a, she have a, a, a time of four years. Huh? I'm, I'm going to copy those links and post them under the video. So people, they can see, you know, this is what it says in Arabic. And it's not considered to be an adulterer if she brought a baby or she if she delivered a baby by the, by the max of four years after the you know the divorce or for uh, or being with them. This is this is what your religion teaching. So you explain to us how this happened. Those are your biggest scholars who live in this earth today, and who knows that this is stupid. Still, they believe in it because this is what your religion teach, and there's tons of stories in in your books speaking about that. So Muslims, don't say we lie; we don't. You do. Everything we speak of is from your books. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to download the video and share it with your friends. And we will be back again on air on Sunday, 4:30 p.m. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, the easiest way to find my page, if you are watching a different channel, is to go to this website here, patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Or actually, you can go to minds.com uh, uh, and you will find my page there. And you will find some of the videos, they are not really in YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a stupid, made by the stupid, for the stupid. Thank you.